Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Thanks again so much for tuning in. I'm Simmer Chase. Today is episode 15 of our speed builds. Yes, I'm so excited we've made it this far. So today is the Cracker Box house. Now you know what that is, right? You know, it's a little bit bigger than a shoe box, but a little bit smaller than a bread box. Yep, it's the Cracker Box house. So this one's got two bedrooms, two bathrooms, it's got laundry, it's got everything you need and a little tinier footprint. So I've been making a lot more smaller builds just to kind of give you guys a variety and I hope you guys get to enjoy it. So the gallery link is down below. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and get this build going. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe in the links below. <laughs> And stay proud. Go out and do something magical. And let's go ahead and dive in now. Alrighty, so now I'm just going through and getting our stuff kind of put together here and getting the last of the roof kind of designed and getting our pieces kind of together for the overall floor plan. I wanted this to be a much smaller house. I was thinking about it and I'm like, hmm, what kind of house could I do? The Cracker Box House, yes. You know, the one that's definitely... What is it, huh? Bigger than a shoe box, but smaller than a bread box. Yes, that's what it is. The Cracker Box House. So I'm just kind of getting the porch together now, getting the last of like the, the ideas together for the exterior. I wanted to go, be a good like self-sustaining house too. So you're gonna see a lot of eco-friendlier features go in that I usually do. Um, and I wanted to kind of draw attention to the features of the house. So that's why it's two-toned as well. And I also really wanted to make sure that it did have like a good dramatic like exit out the back to the pool and that kind of stuff, the yard. So I brought the house forward so that it has a lot of backyard space in the little footprint and small lot. I think it's like a 20 by 20. And I really love like a lot of the craftsman features. These white windows are like my favorite. Like you don't even know. Like I love these white craftsmen's and so I end up like, you know, doing the brown ones at first and kind of throwing different ideas together. And then I was like, you know, I prefer the white. And I wasn't sure at first, like which I wanted to go with because like, I think the brown like really does like correlate well against the gray. But then I was like, then the gray or the brown then don't work very well for like my architectural feature there. So I was like, ooh, I've got to go with something that looks nice on that, I think, and then work around that. And so I thought that the white just kind of came out well. And so now I'm just getting in my landscaping because I thought that I wanted to make this feel like established, you know, like maybe a house built in like the 50s or um, 60s back, you know, when there was a lot of like the little tiny houses, the affordable ones kind of started going up and I wanted to make it feel like established. So you're just gonna see a lot of little, you know, elements and detail to go in that kind of make it feel that way. And now I just actually vaulted the ceiling. So I highly recommend doing that, and especially in a little house, because again, it's not how far your feet can travel, but how far your eyes can wander. So you just wanna make sure that when you're looking up and around, that it just feels like value and it feels like space because it's not all crammed in there. And then it actually works a little bit better with the Sims 4 camera and even the Sims 3 camera as well. So I highly recommend doing that. Um, now I'm just kind of getting the front end like really good and kind of uh, dressed up as kind of the way that I want it to be of again, feeling homey, but then also established and quaint and just very uh, cozy. Because again, it's just the Cracker Box house. So I wanted it to feel, you know, affordable and accessible to any budget. Now we have like this patio area together there. 
And then I didn't really like where those ended up because of the pool and everything. So I ended up, you know, kind of scooting those over because like, that's like a view from the bathroom kind of thing anyways. So it's like not really important. I don't think for like what view do you really necessarily have out of there. Plus you can still see plenty of that um, pond, but I did do like a little pond there too. Alrighty, and now I'm just coming back around here to like the inside, starting to get my kitchen together. This one was a little bit creative here because I didn't have a lot of space and usually I'm the one that makes like those giant kitchens, you know, big ones with like tons of cabinets of different varieties and all that kind of stuff. So I was kind of piddling with that a minute to try and get it just right. So you're gonna see things kind of like flip and rotate a couple times here and there because I realized like I really need a space to have like an eating kitchen. So I needed to be able to fit a dining room that could seat at least, at least like five people. So you'll kind of see it kind of morph a little bit as I go along. And then like, you know, I kind of like had one of those moments of like, no, because I was silly and forgot to allocate for a door out of the kitchen into the bedroom. Um, so I was like, oh crud. So I had to kind of like work on that a little too. Um, so, and then like this rug I ended up like getting rid of because it ended up being in the way of kind of the dining room and then how I kind of had to reconfigure the kitchen a little bit to accommodate my uppers. And sometimes like I'll hit escape to be able to like um, pop out and get a whole look at it. And so that's why sometimes you may see that. Okay, cool. So then I go and kind of get all of our doors allocated and then that's when I was like, oh, okay, I gotta make a couple of adjustments. Cool. And then I just start getting together like our common areas. I kind of start with that first, work out back, and then kind of around the kitchen and the living areas. I kind of jump in between those at this point just to kind of get the clutter and decorations. And then that is like one of my favorite pieces in The Sims because like I grew up around covered bridges. They were like not near my house, but they were like within the same county and then like the adjacent county and Indiana's known for like a ton of them. And unfortunately, like every year, it seems like we lose like one and sometimes we're lucky enough we don't, but they're a rare treasure. So I really like being able to kind of feature that in my builds. That's kind of like my little signature stamp right there is like utilizing that print. And now there's just a lot of like different areas and things now for like a creative sim or like a gardening sim or like a homemaker pretty much anybody to, you know, kind of have their, express their creative sides. And then, you know, if you're a cat lady, there's a cat or a cat man or husband or whoever you might be. If you really like cats, this is a house for you, definitely. There's definitely like a little bit of like toss to the cats. Um, okay, so now I, that's when I realized, like at this point, it's when I realized that I was missing a laundry room. So I actually had to go back in and kind of like chunk out a little bit more from that bathroom, which I think is what kind of happens in real life. Like they just kind of like steal some space from like a bedroom and, and or a bathroom and just like bring it all together to make like a laundry room. So I brought that in um, and like to, you know, squeeze that in through there just to kind of give it a good size laundry room, even though it's got a stackable, not my preference but it's still better than nothing, you know? And I also was thinking that because there's really not a public bathroom per se in this house, that I thought it'd be important to maybe put a toilet in there so that if you have a guest that needs to use the restroom, they can just go in there rather than having to walk all the way around a bedroom in a bedroom through it to the bathroom, they can just go in there real quick. Okay, so now I'm just getting the bedrooms kind of dressed up and I already knew what they were going to be. So I went ahead and did those first, but generally I'll do the bathrooms first and do them all together and then go into all the bedrooms together. But this time I did it kind of opposite. And this room, like I was green for a minute and I was like, this green isn't going to fly. Like, ew, I can't get anything to go with that. And so I ended up changing that, um, kind of morphing it a little bit. And then this room, I just wanted to give it like a really cozy, almost like a romantic vibe a little bit. 
and then that room I just wanted to be kind of like relaxed and charming and funky a little bit like um maybe it's like you know the kid like that never really moved out <laughs> their bedroom or maybe you have a roommate or something like that this would be a good roommate house too or empty nesters and then you have like a grandkid that'll like you know come stay with you once in a while or something okay so now i'm just kind of getting the last of the bathroom stuff together here I really enjoy using art where I possibly can, and I really like to be able to utilize it all as sort of like a cohesive element. So it's all like one big art piece, and there's like several details together to look at. So that's kind of how I build houses. And then um, I kind of what I think about. So now I'm just kind of coming through, getting the last of my, and I didn't have a lot of space to cram in, in any sort of uh, vanity sort of stuff here. So I just, you know, popped in the little lights, did our little, 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 little mirrors, the skinny ones that came with the tiny living pack and went ahead and popped those in. So I think that that really came out well. Okay, so now I'm just getting the last of the bedroom stuff decorated, bathroom stuff decorated, all of our little clutter kind of pieces, the tchotchkes and stuff. Exterior lighting now. It's really like just phenomenal. I really enjoy being able to have the opportunity to create in the sims um and kind of you know just envision what life could be like in real life if you kind of had unlimited money and the ability to to like have whatever space you wanted to work with so like i just envisioned tons of flowers and like my fantasy like house tons of flowers big garden this house is a smaller one where i'd have a greenhouse and even bigger kitchen but um now i'm just kind of getting the rest of the decoration stuff outside done getting the pool dressed up getting the last of the front yard and backyard landscaping done and any other the little like detail i didn't actually want to cloud the house with tons of like plants and landscaping um that was too tall to cover it because you know people just pass by your house in the gallery if they can't see it i totally get that so i try not to i feel like they can do that if they want to uh, after they download plant a giant tree but for me I try and keep the front as open as possible just so you can see it and I love the sunflowers it's so fun to add in alrighty so now it looks like the last little bits of the exterior over here I really love that new cute um, like homemade looking mailbox it's so adorable I love all the new homemade detail stuff okay so now I'm just kind of peeking back around and just seeing our final little little walk through here and kind of going through and peeking at everything seeing where we are on the whole nine so it looks like here we actually have the finished product so we're spinning around and you can just kind of see kind of the design a little bit i was having a little bit of trouble with this lot in the camera like it was bugging me so uh, sorry if it's a little it's kind of jarring at times it's kind of annoying but just trying to make it as smooth as possible but that camera location is just bizarre on this lot not even gonna not even gonna lie it's very funky but there's your detail and then the vault so you can see the vaulted ceiling and the evening time so i just kind of want to show you what it would look like during the different sections of the day and times so now like you can see all the lights and stuff on the porch all pop and then you can kind of see what's on the inside and around through the giant glass it's just very homey with the glow from like the vault um from the vaulted ceilings and so you can see all that light coming in through those windows um and now it's like daylight morning so there's the lot thank you guys so much for tuning in i'm so grateful for you coming and watching the show i hope you have a great day and go out and do something magical. Stay proud. And thanks again so much for tuning in. I'm very grateful.